In this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate time in days and hours. Normally, in my barcode scanning sheets, we're concerned about hours and minutes for a particular tasks to happen. But in a situation, for example, if you're renting equipment or that type of thing, what you need to know is the days and hours that you need to calculate. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to scan in um, 333. One, two, three, four, and then you see that you get um, one day and zero hours. And so let's try it again, and we get, I will do four, 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 four. Now, this is a, the spot where the barcode would go. Um, I'm typing it in because I don't have a barcode can scanner. Bar scanning into a barcode into this cell will work exactly the same as what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm going to press enter and the barcode scanner will press enter automatically. And so there you can see that it's one day and three hours. So let me show you how this works. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to right click to see my code here. So I'm going to um, take off, I'm going to put on a comment before call access because I don't want it to run automatically. I want to be able to step through the code with you. Okay, so now let's go up to module one, which is access. So let's start running through it. So let's first of all put in, um, we'll put in 555 here. And then we're going to press enter. Okay, so now let's step through the code and see how it works. So we're going to go F8. And we're going to go through, and it's saying where the barcode is. Now it's searching for the barcode in the A column. And so if it, if it doesn't find it, then it's going to start enter one. Okay, so if, um, if it doesn't, if it does find it, so it's kind of a backward logic, the statement here. If not range is nothing, then row number equals range row um, and then what we're searching is if it's there twice we're going to search for the next one on the list okay so let's keep going through here and so we're going to the this one and it says active data cells row number one and then it's um then it's selecting the sheets and then when we get down to um the active cell value is we're putting in the date and the time and then we're putting and then this is where it goes to change it. And then we go time in equals the value that we have in cell two, which is the, the initial time and time out is the time that we've just entered in, uh, in the code here. Now, so what, the, what we're gonna do here is total, which is um, the days is what we're trying to figure out. So we're using the formula date diff um, with D as, um, as your unit that you're sus subscribing. Um, time in is the cell with the time in and time out is the cell with the time out. And so the next thing that we're calculating is we've now we're gonna know the days and now let's figure out the total hours. And so total hours, it's, it's using the same formula, date diff and H being the hours, time in and time out. And so now what we do is we're going to display it on the sheet. And so, so I say sheet, uh, sheet one cells, row number one, value equals total hours and total. And then you put the units, the days, and then I put a space between it. And then I put total hours. Now we already, the total hours includes the, um, the, the days and so what I'm doing is I'm taking total hours and I'm multiplying the total times times 24 and I'm getting the balance hours. So now we, we're gonna come we're gonna complete this. All right so let's, let's go back to our sheet. And there you go, 
the 555 that we've just calculated, it was, it was used for 12 hour, 12 days and one hour. I will of course include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.